All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video back with another Dokkan Battle video and today we are going to be once again featuring the new best TUR in the entire game, at least in my opinion, the EZA Fizz Vegito Blue and guys, this dude is absolutely ridiculous. Like I'm so happy that Bandai just went all out with this unit, they really didn't hold back and he kind of became like everything I was hoping for and even more, you know what I mean? Like I was actually pretty conservative with my expectations for this EZA because I know that when you expect too much, especially from a hype unit like Vegito Blue, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. So I don't want to do that, so my expectations were very low, but yo, Bandai was like, nah, we're just gonna make him the best EZA you've ever seen. We're gonna make him one of, if not in my opinion, like I said, the best TUR in the game now, and I could not be happier about it, guys. So without further ado, we're going to take him on the Realm of God stage of Super Battle today. And I think this stage is regarded by most people to be the most difficult Super Battle stage we currently have. But with this guy on our team, I'm pretty confident about our chances. So uh, let's just do this, man. This is the team. These are the items. And we're jumping and hopefully we'll get him in the first rotation so that oh of course he's on the third rotation very nice very nice i love it okay that's fine that's okay um man having both samasus on the first rotation is not fun that is not what you want man so i guess i'll pop an icarus immediately because even though they have the damage reduction their base defense is just really really look at that thirty-seven thousand eight hundred. 37,800. Even if you have damage reduction, if your base defense is garbage, then you're still not going to be good, like, defensively. So, yeah, I'm a little bit scared here. I might, like, literally die if I take, like, two supers. So, <laughs> I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, let's go for... Oh, oh, crap, I forgot his name. The the kid, the boxer kid, the fighter kid. Uh, I forgot. That's my bad, guys. Alright, he's, a, like, a random side character and I'm really bad with names to begin with, so I'm not sure what he's called, but we're gonna try to kill him first. All right, give me a crit, Zamasu. There we go, okay, that's good. And we're actually doing okay defensively. Not bad, not bad. How much is it? Oh, 30K. Yeah, well, at least Zamasu is holding his own with the Icarus, right? So maybe I, I was a little bit too hard on him, talking about the defense. Ooh, this is gonna be like 200k. Watch. Oh, 84k. Okay, 41. Whoa, Zamasu. Yo, he's surprising me here, man. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. All right, I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it. Um, ooh, can we super? Uh, okay, we can super with him. So let's go for Videl here. And I think we can actually kill the kid at the end with Gogeta. So I'll go with that. And who should we target with SSBE? Um, let's go for Devil Man. Why not? It's just the feeling. It's just the feeling. So at this point, most of you should probably have seen what this guy can do on like a legendary Goku event and so on and so forth. In fact, I actually did my initial showcase for Vegito Blue on the legendary Goku event. And the funny thing about that video, if you guys haven't seen it yet, is that I went in with literally no expectation to beat the event. You know, usually when I do showcases, I just bring the unit on the legendary Goku event because it's easy to showcase them on a lot of like, I mean, against different enemies, but also like just for a lot of turns because you don't have to switch events constantly because those kind of events are just kind of short, right? So that's why I use the legendary Goku event for showcases, but I never, use, I never beat the event because usually the team I bring is not optimized for the event. So uh, I did the same thing yesterday. I brought three supports on the team. It was the Supreme Kai of Time, West Kai, and also uh, Tech Vegito. And of course, they were doing like no damage on the event. But somehow, somehow, I was actually able to beat the event with the three supports. And a big part of it was because of this Fizz Vegito, man. He's just ridiculous he's so powerful they did such a good job with him and on top of that i mean it did help of course that i had uh oh should i item here okay no let's pop a princess snake let's be super safe uh on top of that 
I did have the Int Vegito, so that, that helped too, but the Fizz Super Vegito was a big part of why I was able to beat it with that team. We got a nice crit counter there, about 400k. There's one super. There's the second super. Yo, give me four supers in a row. Give me four supers in a row. Just take her out, man. Oh, no. All right, just the two supers. Uh, but the the counters are getting up to almost 500,000 now. And the tam 900k right there. We're going to take out Videl here. She's dead. Oh, dude, I love this so much, man. I love this unit so much. Yo, Bandai, good job. Huge props to everybody at Bandai. Everybody at Kotsky responsible for this easy A. You really did Vegito Blue Justice. Seriously. They, they really, really did Vegito Blue Justice. And it makes it even sweeter that it is a global first Extreme Z Awakening. So people who just play JP, no disrespect, nothing but love. But people who just play JP um, are going to have to wait a little bit. And do I feel bad about it? Not really. Because usually for, for us global players, we have to wait for stuff on JP all the time, right? So, um, you know, nothing but love. To, to JP, but I gotta say, this one feels good, man. <laughs> this one, this one feels really, really good, man. Now it's gonna be interesting to see what the AGL uh, Rosés uh, EZA looks like. Like, is it gonna be anywhere close, anywhere close to comparable with Fizz Super Vegito, or are they just gonna give him more like a normal uh, Extreme Z Awakening, right? Because I think this guy is like busted. Like, not, not this guy, not the guy you see on the screen right now. He's good, but I think Fizz Vegito Blue's Extreme Easy Awakening legitimately is busted. If you see some of the calculations out there, um, his attack per turn is like, I think on average like 10 million or something like that. And obviously, calculations are not always representative of actual performance in game, but if you just look at his like, performance here, he does really, really well. Like, let's be real. Okay, so it, it's pretty much over. Um, oh, I can't even super here. Well, I mean, it's not a big deal. I think the counter might just take him out. If if not, then we'll probably get an additional super anyways. Uh, that's what's, what's great about him. If you don't get the super off, right, with uh, orbs, he still gets those additionals, right? He still gets the... Wow, that was a lot of damage from a normal, actually. Okay, so, yep, there's one additional. Second additional. Okay, no super still. Third edition. There we go. All right. So on the third additional, we got the super. He's dead. GG. Moving on to the second stage, and uh, yeah, it's been pretty, pretty, pretty good so far. You know, like <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw my collab with my boy Toon Rami on his channel. Uh, we both did Realm of Gods. It was like a Realm of Gods race, and things were not as good as uh, this current run is. Like we both died in that video. <laughs> Both of us at the end, near the end of the, the run, I think on the third stage, uh, died. So, you know, things are looking a lot better right now. I'm going to credit a lot of that to uh, Vegito for sure. And man, I'm just having so much fun running him right now. Like, I can't wait to... Oh crap, I should have given him the tech orbs. That would have been enough for a super. That's my bad, that's my bad. Um... Well, that's well, it. Yeah, I can't wait to run him on more events. You know, I'm going to bring him probably on the Infinite Dragon Ball History event. Uh, I'm probably going to bring him on like more uh, Super Battle Road stages like Patara, Future Saga, so on and so forth. Wow. Dude, come on. Dodge. Yo. Okay, dodge this one, please. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? Okay. So... Obviously, if we die here, it's not, uh, <laughs> we can't really blame Fizz Vegito. It, it's all Gogeta's fault. It's all Gogeta's fault. Maybe, maybe the game's trying to tell me who the superior fusion is. I'm just kidding. Yo, I, I've always been a Gogeta guy day one, so, I mean, as much as I love this Fizz Vegito, I'm still, like, team Gogeta overall, but, um, as you can see, man, like, Vegito Blue is really showing up uh, Blue Gogeta here. <laughs> At least in this run. At least in this run. Alright, who should we go for? Let's go for Shen. And let's target... Um, oh, I guess it doesn't really matter who we attack with Super Saiyan Blue, Kauk, and Goku. Uh, I don't think he's really taken any hits yet, so yeah, his defense is quite low at the moment, which does worry me a little bit. But... I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. So let's go for Grandpa Gohan here. 
And we can finally get a super off with Zamasu. Perfect. All right, so please don't super me before I super. That'd be ideal. We only have two attacks, so yeah, we survived that. Amazing. Two crit counters back to back. And I think Vegito might be able to take out Shen by himself. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, okay. There's one more. Yeah, okay, he's done. He's dead. I love all these supers, man. Oh my god, 1.6 mil and another additional. And another crit counter, almost a million. <sighs> Such a crazy unit, man. Such a crazy unit. All right. Cool. A good amount of damage dealt right there. Um, we might actually be able to kill Grandpa Gohan here too. Come on, give me a crit. Give me a crit. Oh, all right. All right, that's okay. 73. Amazing. 22. Amazing. Building up that defense with every single attack. And now he should be quite tanky. Now at this point, he should be at like 80k, 90k defense. So... Not too concerned about him anymore. Grandpa Gohan's dead. And alright, so let's put mm, okay, so defensively they're comparable. Like they both have 78, 79k defense. And since the god coup has the high chance to dodge, I'm gonna put him in the first slot. And then Gogeta will only have to deal with like two attacks in the middle, so because we're gonna kill um oh crap, what's his name? Uh, mu, 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 tai, mu Taito? Mu Taito? Something like that? It's probably it's something like that. Mu, mu Taito. Uh, or Mu Taito. I've heard it pronounced differently. It's M-U-T-A-I-T-O, right? Yeah, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce his name. As I've said in the past, I'm really, really bad. Really, really bad with names, so don't mind me. Alright. Gogeta, do your thing. Uh, about a mil. Alright, come on, dodge at least one attack. You have like a 30% chance to dodge. Like, can you can you just can you just do me a favor and dodge, please? Ah oh, man. Now here is the tricky part. We can we have a Dokkan attack coming up. And I really, really don't want to use it here. But I don't know if you have a choice. Actually. Actually, if I play this correctly, nobody supers, but. Uh, Vegito Blue can actually still get an additional super, right? Even without the Dokkan attack. So, we can still kill kill uh, Roshi here without actually having to use a Dokkan attack or waste it. Okay, come on, give me, give me, give me like... Ah, there we go, okay, that's the first additional super. That's the first additional super, just give me... Aw, oh, man. Come on. That's annoying. Yo, if we had like two additional, like 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 even just one additional super with a crit, we could have killed him. But instead, that didn't happen. That didn't happen. And now I'm just scared that if I don't uh, super this turn, then I might like die from a, Ro a Roshi super. You know what I mean? So I, th I think we might have to waste it, man. I think we might have to waste it. Uh, let me think. Or, or maybe Gogeta can additional and kill him with the additional. Alright, so we'll, we'll see what happens. It's, I'm gonna leave it to the, the heart of the cards, right? We're gonna leave it to RNG. Um, if Gogeta additional supers, then that'd be amazing. Damn. Okay, so yeah, we didn't get that. So now we're gonna Dokkan attack with God Ku here and hopefully take out Roshi at least. I would have loved to save it for the final stage, but I just I couldn't. It didn't work out like that. <sighs> Man, the game's not working with me right now. The game is not working with your boy. Yo, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have been using Fizz Vegito Blue after his Extreme Z Awakening. Let me know what you think about him. I want to see all your opinions, uh, whether or not you feel the same as me and are just like in love with him right now, or are you what, a little bit underwhelmed? I, I don't know why you would be. I don't know. I don't understand why anybody would be underwhelmed, but I'm sure there are people out there that wanted more. You know, there, I'm sure people out there that were like, hey, like they could have done more with this unit. And if that's the case, let me know why you think that. All right, because I 100% respectfully, respectfully disagree. <laughs> I really do. Like, I, I can't 
see a reason why anybody would have an issue with this Extreme Z Awakening. It's just so freaking insane, man. It's so insane. I, I know, like, when you look at just the number of, like, a single super, right? 1. what, 7 mil we're getting here with no supports. If we get, if you use a support, it's usually around 2.1, 2.2 mil. Um, I know, like, when you look at that, you're like, hey, look, I've seen higher, right? We, we have, like, you know, Super Saiyan Blue Kao and Goku that can do more damage easily with one super. But you have to consider the fact that he supers up to, like, four times in a turn. And he also has the counters. We just got three supers in a row. Make it a fourth. It actually be the first time. Yeah, okay. So three supers. Um, I still haven't gotten four supers in a turn yet, but it's definitely possible. And uh, yeah, so you got to factor that in, but also factor in the uh, counters. Oh my goodness. Yo, <laughs> that is, that's crazy. Uh that the the, the 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 super still did that much damage to him. Uh, one weakness, of course, that he still has is the fact that ooh, oh, the fact that um, he still can't really take super attacks. All right, super attacks still do a crap ton of damage to him. Uh, yo, yo, Yamcha, don't do me like this. Yamcha, don't, don't, don't super me. Oh, okay, we're we're doing four attacks. We're doing four attacks, so that's four times that we're building up defense. Hey, we're good. We're good. So this turn, I'm definitely gonna pop a Android 8 as well, and I think we still have the Icarus, or sorry, not the Icarus, the Whis active. So um, we should be okay, right? <laughs> we should be good. And let's actually put this guy over here. Let's go for Ch actually. We can. I think we can kill Yamcha here. And after that, I'll go for Tien, obviously. And then, if that's not enough... Actually, though, if we kill Tien, I don't want to waste the super, the, the type disadvantage super, so let's go for Krillin again. Here we go. Feeling pretty good. Full health again. We got the defense going. We got the uh, damage reduction going. So, this turn we should be safe. This turn we should be safe. And if we can survive this turn, then we are pretty much done because I don't see any reason Vegito Blue shouldn't finish off the rest of the fight in the next turn. Man, if only we saved that token attack. If only we somehow found a way to save that token attack, we would have been done already. But eh, it's just like a two minute difference. It's all good. We're almost there. All right, so Tien's going to be dead. Right? Are we fighting Tien? It's Tien, right? I think I chose Tien. And yeah, there we go. Okay. Dead Tien. Dodge, dodge something. I mean, okay, I guess it doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter anymore. We have so much defense now and damage reduction that uh, even Gogeta is tanking really, really well. There we go. Nine. Okay, so I'm going to say this is going to be about 50k. 27k. Even better. Even better. All right, guys, this is going to do it. This is going to be the final turn. <laughs> it's the final countdown. Oh my god. This unit's awesome. So freaking awesome. I'm gonna pop Whis again. And let's go for, I guess, Yamcha. Um, Cause we, we can actually kill Chaozu, I think. Uh, yeah, we can actually kill Chaozu with like our counters. It's possible. And then I think Super Saiyan Blue Kao and Goku will kill, uh, what do you call him? Krillin. How did I forget Krillin? My boy Krillin. And if that's not enough, then Zamasu will definitely finish the job. Okay, crit counter time. That's one. All right, 453k. Crit counter. Okay, no crit counter there, but still dead Yamcha, I think. Oh, dude, he had like one HP left. There he had one HP left. All right, now he's dead. Now we're going to go for Chaozu. Second super, third super. Close to 2 million for the third super. Chaozu's dead. And then another additional, just for good measure. Just, just cuz. Just cuz. No crit there. 587k. And I think Super Saiyan Blue Kaken Goku will now finally finish it for us. This team is great. Vegito Blue is amazing. I, I, I got nothing else to say, man. I got nothing else to say. It is kind of weird that Zamasu is going to finish the event for us. I wish it was Vegito Blue since he is the main units we're trying to showcase. We're not even showcase, just just feature, you know, just highlight. 
in this uh, in this run. But that's it, guys. That is the run. It took me about what 20 minutes. We'll see the final time in a second, but it's probably around 20 minutes, a little bit longer than I would have hoped for if we were able to kind of optimize. Oh, that was the first. That was my fastest clear, dude. My last clear took 24 minutes. That's kind of sad. That's actually kind of sad. All right, 19 minutes, fastest time so far. All credit goes to Fizz Vegito Blue. And uh, that is today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. He is insane. He is insane. I know I say that sometimes about like units that are just like okay, but I really mean it this time. Like I really, really mean it this time. This dude is insane he's busted he's broken bandai just did not hold back this time and i am so so happy for it um and yeah guys that's the video thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch it i'll be back with more showcases on other events in the near future probably tomorrow uh, let me know in the comments down below if you have any like specific ideas that you want to see for this unit and uh, i'll make it happen all right so as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.